Hey everyone, so we're going camping this weekend. We're going to Harriman State Park. It's about an hour or so outside New York on the New York, New Jersey border. And since it's late October, our gear list changes. Yeah, let's do it. First, we need a checklist. I really like this one from REI. Uh, very straightforward and easy to follow. One thing I do a day or two ahead of time before I leave is I tend to spray my clothes that I'm gonna be wearing with permethrin. Ticks really freak me out. Um, it's not really so much of a big deal in the fall and the winter, but I would rather err on the side of safety. And so I tend to do that a couple of days ahead of my trip. Totally optional, but just in case you can relate. One thing that I'm really excited to bring this time is this fanny pack. It's by a brand called Light AF and they do a bunch of different camping gears. It's based out west and this fanny pack is super lightweight, super durable. So this is a new addition. I really like to just start with the clothes first because that's the easiest. You can throw it all in a pile and then pack it up in your pack later. In terms of clothes that I just wear at the camp or to sleep in, I just wear basic sweatpants, super easy. Um, I really like this pair from Outdoor Voices because they're both soft and very warm. So I always throw these in. So the temperature this weekend is, the, the low temperature this weekend is supposed to be around 30. Uh, pretty chilly actually. So I'm bringing a couple of layers here. I'm bringing a basic fleece. This is just from Uniqlo, but I like it because it's super light and you can pack it up really small. So bringing this lightweight Patagonia down, also very easily packable. And then to top it all off, I'm also taking this shell. So in case things get really rainy or really cold and I need that extra layer, this has come in handy multiple times in the past, so I'm not gonna leave home without it this time. And then things are gonna get pretty messy in here pretty quickly, but this is our gear bag. It has pretty much everything that we take in our backpacks to carry to camp. Um, our medical kit, water filter, all that good stuff. So, yeah. And so you by no means need to bring dried food for your dinner, but we do. <laughs> Just because it's fun and there are so many good food options. Cheddar Jack and Cheese Spread from Packet Gourmet. A spicy sausage pasta from Alpine Air. I don't think we've had this yet. Three Berry Crumble, also from Alpine Air. And then the next day we're gonna have biscuits and gravy. So yeah, you can bring whatever you want for dinner. I mean, like, Peanut butter and jelly is just as good, but it's sort of fun to have like freeze-dried food and something to whip up. That still tastes really good as well. Then as far as toiletries go, I really like wilderness wipes. It's just like a basic face wipe, but you can use it on your hands and it instantly makes you feel a million times cleaner, even if you're in the woods. So this is great. Lotion, glasses, contacts, and uh, Toothbrush, toothpaste, keeping it very low maintenance. Now onto the sleeping bag. Um, I've always used this Kelty bag. Uh, it's served me very well. It's a little hot, but I think it'll be good for fall. 20 degrees. Climate sleeping bag. Can't forget a super cool headlamp. This thing comes in handy literally every time we're camping. Sleeping pad for warmth and also comfort. A second one. Mm -hmm. Do you have yours? Yes. Headlamp. 